Hello and welcome to what I hope will be one of the first of many videos to help you use Mastercam better. I'm Dave Matuzic, I'm the trainer here at MacDAC Engineering and our first topic we're going to talk about is installing codes. And I've actually broken this into two videos. This video will be how to install codes for a local HASP that is a HASP that is attached to your computer and the next video will be a video about installing codes for a net HASP. The procedures are slightly different so that's why I decided to break them into two separate videos. The first thing going to happen is you're going to have an email sent to you with your codes. So let's take a look down here at the email. It'll look like this. And one thing about this email is always read what's in bold print. It tells me here that this is for version 3 or 4, X4. And it tells me it's a permanent code. And down here, important, always important to read big things that say important. It says if you're running X3, you need to download these following utilities in order to run the code. They're just new HASP utilities and new drivers that you have automatically if you have X4. And I have X4, so I don't need to download any of this extra stuff here. So I'm just going to download my H code here. And I'll save it. Okay, so I've downloaded my .h code file. And that's the code that will run my HASP. And usually, I can actually just go out to my desktop or wherever it's saved, find that file, and double click on it. And I should get this notice. Has number, whatever your number is, has been successfully updated. Okay, now every once in a while that doesn't work. You have to do this manually. And the way to do this manually is you would go to your start menu, all programs, and go find your Mastercam. Here we go, Mastercam X4. And I'll go here to the HASP X utility right here. Then I'll go here to update code. Go to wherever that code is saved and open it. And it puts a series of numbers in this box here. And what most people do, they make a mis very simple mistake here is they hit OK. That's not what you want to do. What you really need to do is go back to that utility. I'll grab that update code. And make sure to remember to hit this update button right up here. And then down below at the very bottom it should say has successfully updated. Now another possibility, once in a very great while for various reasons you can't receive a code from email. In that case we may actually, we may actually fax the code over to you. And you will receive a fax that looks just like this. What products you have what your SIM type is, and an update code down here. And again, you will go to that same utility, go to your Mastercam and your Haspex utility, and in this update code box here, you would type in a number, whatever this update code number is here. And you would do that for all this very long string of numbers here, and then hit update. Now. You notice I don't have the correct number there. And down at the bottom it says has cannot be updated. Check the serial number. If that ever happens to you, be it when you double click on the H code file, when you do it open it manually, or when you type in the code, that's fine. Chances are you you have more than one hasp and you try to install the wrong hasp code for your machine. Just make sure you have the correct hasp and the correct code for that hasp on your computer. I hope this has been an informative and an easy video to help you get started with installing your HASP. And remember, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at MacDAC Engineering at 860-749-5544. Thank you, and have a great day.